Mm -hmm. All right, number nine. It's Monday, and we're going to let this guy set our mood for the whole week. You know, oh, yeah. yeah, we are. You know, because God made me funky. You're going uh, pretty fast there. What? Straight to the bone. Oh, he's got good moves. Yeah. Now, Larry, I know you could roller skate in the day, but yeah. could you do that kind of stuff? Yeah, I would I would roller skate home from the roller skating yeah. rink. Yeah, Not in the do. middle of the and you highway. You wrap a, a rock of PCAP for sure. <laughs> <laughs> well, we know he has a leather jacket. He looks yeah. great. This guy's great, though, but look at all that fancy footwork. I don't think you could do that. Larry. All right, challenge accepted. I swear to God, Larry, if I could, if I uh, said, we could get you on the Eden's Expressway. <laughs> we gotta let us. Uh, please, please. I, okay, my my car broke down once, and I I had a flat tire, and I had to take the tire to the gas station. Unfortunately, I had my roller skates in the trunk of my Pinto, and I had the roller skates, and I had the big tire on the side, and I roller skated to the to the garage. Because that's what you do. Yeah, that's what you well, do. Well, who? This guy is fantastic. Yeah. Wow. Huh. All right, number eight, the closer for the New York Mets, Edwin Diaz, isn't off to uh, some amazing start, but at least he isn't as bad as he was in 2019. Could this be the reason why? What reason? Uh, I don't know. Fans are loving the entrance music for Diaz. Uh, yeah, that's cool. The song is called Narco <laughs> by Blaster <laughs> Jacks and Timmy Trumpet. Oh. And yes, the song was inspired by Pablo Escobar in the TV series Narcos. Diaz used it when he led the league with 57 saves in 2018, but then he stopped. Now that he's using it again, he's off to a much better start than ah. last year. Oh, there you go. Ah. Well, that's nice imagery. Hmm. Good for him. It's a catchy jingle. It yeah, is. It is. Yeah, Got to get him that. Need a good song. All right, number seven. Uh, they've got a real problem going on in Alaska right now. Ravens. Oh, you're telling me. Oh my! The birds are snatching groceries right out of the carts of shoppers at the local Costco. Last winter, a woman was buckling her seat, her uh, baby, into a car seat. And some ravens swooped in, snatched her short ribs, and last week it happened to the same woman. They took pork ribs this time. What? Yeah. The ravens seem to be fond of this location, and they've got an affinity for meats. <laughs> One huh. man also lost some ribs after ravens pulled them out of his cart. He told the Anchorage Daily News, he says, they know what they're doing. It's not their first time, oh, he added. Yeah. They're so very fat that I think they've got a whole system. Another guy had a filet mignon that's <laughs> stolen from his, uh, right in front of his eyes. And according to wildlife experts, ravens migrate to Alaska every winter. They're great at spotting food and learning how to do it. Hmm. So keep your eyeballs peeled. That's too bad. Hmm. You almost wish they'd take the baby for a little ride first. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, I was wondering some, if that was going to... You know, I mean, not far away. You right. can bring the baby a back. A can't replicate a good steak. Number six, comedian Allison Leiby tweeted out a very good idea. She said, I want to start a candle company that only makes candles scented like popular 90s fragrances. Clinique Happy, CK1, Tommy Girl, The Others. I'll collect my check whenever it's ready. Thanks. Well, I did like that Clinique Happy back in the day. That was yeah. your favorite. It's true, like a scent can bring you back in time, right? Well, I mean, what was every guy wearing in the 90s? It was Obsession. either session or Dracar Noir, yeah, right? Yeah, Dracar Noir. Cool by D Davidoff or whatever that was. That was another big one. Cool water? Cool water, right. Yeah, yeah, that was a big one. Paul? No. Not a scent no, guy. No, not a big scent guy huh. at all, yeah. Hmm. I like to let the natural juices <laughs> <laughs> Look, when you're taking a bath in onions and yeah. lettuce every day, yeah. you want to let that, that ferment. Yeah. yeah. I uh, took a bean bath this weekend, and let me yeah. tell you, I'm <laughs> feeling it today. <laughs> This is a good one. Pinto beans. Wow, your wife Pinto is a little, lucky woman. Yeah, a little right? Navy, some navy beans in there. Also. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Number five, this is a brilliant website and Twitter account that started as a blog back in 2012. It's called Worn on TV. If you're watching TV and you see a character wearing a dress you Ooh. like, check out the site, search your show, and it will tell you where you can buy those exact clothing items. There are also tabs at the top of the uh, shows that are really popular that have outfits people really want to know about. You can also search by category like soap operas, reality TV, talk really? shows. Well, that's a good tip. Yeah. 
if you want to dress like somebody else, it is, right? Yeah. But if you want to be an original. Be a leader. Yeah. Mm hmm yeah. Who wants sloppy seconds? Right. Robin, you want to tell viewers where you got your red uh, sock dress there? <laughs> is it a sock? Is it terry cloth? It's like terry cloth or no, something. No, it's, right? yeah. it's just a sweater. It's like a, it's like a sweater. I had a lot of a bad experiences I don't know with where terry I cloth it. in the 80s. Yeah. Sock ties? It's just not a forgiving fabric. <laughs> you know? No. Right? It's not. Clings, clings yeah. to the skin. A little clingy. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well. Number four, bike shorts aren't. Oh, that was another one. Don't get me started on those. Those are one of the things I wanted them. My mother was like, You sure you really want those? Yeah. Maybe you don't want bike shorts. Stick yeah. with the umbros. They're not just for workouts anymore. People are wearing them in their everyday life from running errands to brunch with friends. Are they? Uh, yeah. No. And yeah, lucky for I've us, they're it. making more of them with an all important addition pockets. Designers say they've learned a lot about consumers. People want comfort and convenience, and since bike shorts are becoming more of a fashion staple, it's only natural that they'd add pockets. Keep in mind, they're still bike shorts. You don't need a lot of extra bulk, so the pockets aren't that large, but they're big enough to hold phones, wallets, or keys. I don't even get bikers wearing biker shorts. I mean, like, what are you training for the Tour de France? Yeah, I'm with you, you. you look ridiculous. Yeah, you're a pharmacist. Yeah. Calm down. <laughs> Just, you know what I mean? You got you got the whole lycra with the pointy helmet oh, and the gloves. Right. It's like you're, you're just putting a bike. big target on your back right. is really what you're doing. Right. I have set a personal best this weekend. <laughs> right. You know, it, it's still not good. Yeah. It might be your personal best, but you know. Yeah. You're, you're a banker. What are you doing? Lighten up, French. Seven other nerds oh, on a Sunday morning. Okay. Hey, let's go, guys. Let's let's bike. Yeah. You got your bike shorts. I got my bike shorts. You got your Lycra shirt. <laughs> oh. Bikers anyway. call Pat Thomas yeah, directly. I don't care. Well, I've heard from them before. Yeah, yeah. be the first yeah, time. You you've heard from them before. Uh, All right, uh, number three. Uh, there's only one way to be truly cool these days. You gotta carry a giant water bottle. Look at all the celebs. They're all doing it. Oh, then, you then the it must be cool. Bottles, 40 ounces, uh. baby. Let everyone know I love water. Water is one of the basic uh, building blocks of life, so why not act like it? Get a gigantic water bottle and bring it. Look at that one. That's a jug. Yeah. Well, Gwyneth does it best. Can't always. live without water. So let people know you're drinking it, drinking a lot of it. When you get in your car, you put the giant water bottle on the seat next to you. And when you get out of the car, you carry that giant water bottle to the dry cleaner mm -hmm. or the yoga class, right into your therapist's office. If you like small water bottles, we have no time for you. You got to have big ones. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, Larry, you you usually want to do whatever Gwyneth is doing, so. Yeah, yeah you follow her like. She's so smart. <laughs> <laughs> she is very smart. She's running a business, and she yeah. could buy you 25,000 times over. You got she some does of those have jade some weird eggs, ideas. Larry? Huh? <laughs> you buy any of those jade eggs from her? Yeah, no, I, that's the thing. I think people would just would be better off listening to me and not to her. That's all yeah. I'm saying. Right. And it's worked you got to market us. yourself better. Yeah. <laughs> Or a doctor. <laughs> or not Larry. All right, number two. Due to the pandemic, there's a ketchup shortage going on. Maybe you weren't even aware of it. People are putting their ketchup packets up for sale on eBay oh. and Facebook Marketplace. Prices range from $1 to $1,000. The Wall Street Journal wrote about it a while back. One man was selling his packets for four bucks a piece. He used the caption, there's a shortage. Don't try to lowball me. I know what I've got. And it may be onto something. As long as there's a shortage, people will pay for it. But companies like Heinz told the journal, it's working around the clock to meet demand. I've mm. never walked by the ketchup aisle in the grocery store and seen an empty shelf. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, there's plenty. Yeah. As far as, um, unless it's just the packets. I think it's just the packets. Mm. I don't know why, but I think it's just that. All right, number one. This Monday, we need some wisdom, and the man to deliver it is Matthew McConaughey. Best I can tell is, is that the common denominator that is bipartisan, that is, that can be scaled across humanity, is values. You can be whatever color, shape, size, or you want to be, but we all need to share a common set of values. Let's, 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 let's be fair to each other. Let's be friendly. Let's be optimistic. Let's be respectful to ourselves, respectful to other people. Let's be accountable. It's not like cheat and steal. Let's look after ourselves. Let's look after each other. Yeah, Matthew, you're too old to wear a baseball hat backwards, all right? 
if you're listening to Slack or, or a thing we send out, a thing we choose not to send out or share, it's being recorded. What book are we writing, I guess, is the question. Values. Mm. They never go out of style. Uh, no, brother. Uh, he and Gwen uh, should get together. Get. <laughs> Maybe write a book. Did you see he's leading a poll for governor of Texas? Yeah. I saw that. Yeah. What's wrong with people? <laughs> well, he's very he's profound. He's very charming. Yeah, he's charming because he's Matthew McConaughey. Right. If he was your neighbor <laughs> coming over to you every morning or you're taking out your trash trying to spit wisdom like that, you'd have no time for him. You're right. You're right, Pat. <laughs> Yeah. You'd let him get away with it. Yeah, maybe that, maybe all that wisdom would get old. Every, you look at yeah. your um, oh, Matthew, I no, gotta wait five minutes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. You take it out to garbage. Yeah. <laughs> How are you, Pat? Oh, you're right about that. <laughs>